If you're a family business owner, chances are you're thinking about what you'll do when your working days are over. Even if you currently view the idea as out of the question, you are wise to consider the possibility of selling your company. The decision to sell is all too often a reactive one rather than a proactive one. The primary reasons are a serious health issue, owner burnout, the death of a principal, general industry decline, or the loss of a major customer. Advanced planning can ensure that you exit your business from a position of strength, not from weakness due to necessity. Good faith alone won't get you the best price. You must consider the 10 keys to a successful business exit. Do not wait too long. Have you ever heard I sold my business too early? Compare that with the number of times you've heard somebody say, I should have sold my business two years ago. Unfortunately, waiting too long is probably the single biggest factor in reducing the proceeds from the sale of a privately held business. Exit your business from a position of strength, not from one of necessity due to weakness. Be prepared personally. Create a plan on how you want to enjoy the rewards of your labor. Travel, hobbies, volunteer work? Where do you want to live? What job would you do if money were not an issue? You need to mentally establish an identity for yourself outside of your business. Prepare your business for sale. Engage a professional CPA firm to do your books. Buyers fear risk. Audited or reviewed financial statements reduce the perception of risk. If you find that a large percentage of your business comes from a very few customers, embark on a program immediately to reduce customer concentration. Start to delegate management activities immediately and identify your successor internally. Analyze and identify the growth opportunities that are available to your business and capture that in a written growth plan document. Keep your eye on the ball. A major mistake business owners make in exiting their business is to focus their time and attention on selling the business as opposed to running the business. There simply is not enough time for the owner to wear the many hats of operating his business while embarking on a full-time job of selling his business. Get multiple buyers interested in your business. If a competitor initiates your sales process, he typically is trying to buy your business at a discount. He will try to limit the sales process to a negotiation of one. The owner often approaches our firm after an unsolicited offer. What we have found is that this unsolicited buyer is generally not the ultimate purchaser, or if he is, the final purchase price is, on average, at least 20% higher than his original offer. Hire a merger and acquisitions firm to sell your business. You improve your odds of maximizing your proceeds while reducing the risk of business erosion by hiring a firm that specializes in selling businesses. The buyer of our last client had previously purchased 25 companies. This was our seller's first and probably last business sale. By engaging a professional mergers and acquisitions firm, they help balance the M&A scales of experience. Engage other professionals that have experience in the business sale process. Consider engaging a CPA firm and a law firm to advise you on important tax and legal issues that can result in swings of literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in your after-tax proceeds. Each element of deal structure that is favorable to the buyer for tax and risk purposes is generally equally unfavorable to the seller and vice versa. Be reasonable in your expectations on sale price and terms. The days of irrational exuberance are over. If the sales price range for a business in your industry is between four and five times EBITDA, 
Your objective is to sell your business at the top end of the range. If your business had an EBITDA for the last fiscal year of $2.5 million, your gross transaction proceeds could range from $10 million to $13.75 million. A skilled merger and acquisitions firm with a proven process can move you to the top of your industry's range. Disclose, 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 and do it early in the process. A seemingly insignificant minor negative revealed early in the process is an inconvenience or a point to negotiate around. That same negative revealed during negotiations or due diligence becomes at best a catalyst for re-examining the validity of every piece of data to, at worst, a deal breaker. Be flexible and open to creative deal structure. Everything is a negotiation. You may have in mind that you want a gross purchase price of $13 million and all cash at closing. You may have to get creative in order to reach that purchase price target by agreeing to carry a seller note for $3 million with $10 million cash at close. You may have spent your life's work building your business to provide you income and wealth. You prepared and were competitive and tireless in your approach exit on purpose and do it from a position of strength and receive the highest and best deal the market has to offer. For more information about the business sale process, go to our website www.midmarkcap.com slash exit to subscribe to our e-newsletter, The Exit Strategist. It contains a wealth of useful advice to guide you through your business sale. Learn about ways to minimize your taxes, negotiation tactics, letters of intent, maximize your selling price, creative deal structures, and many more. Thank you. Create your very own video podcast from PowerPoint. Log on to authorstream.com. It's absolutely free.